Hello everyone, Gomrath here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a guide to the best pets in Northrend. Now we're going to start off in the Boring Tundra. Get it? Boring. Because it's a very boring area to quest. But I actually really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't, but I really loved Wrath of the Lich King and really enjoyed questing here. So the first pet I'm going to talk about is the Nexus Whelpling. This is one of my favorite pets ever. He is a powerhouse. He is a beast. He has the Arcane Storm Mana Surge combo. And he's awesome. Like, this pet can solo three three pets really easily. Just cast Arcane Storm Mana Surge, and the first pet will be dead. Then you'll have your Dragon Racial up for the second pet. You hit him. I have crit for, like, 1,300 damage with Mana Surge before. So... It's 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 a great pet. Now he is found over here in the Kol Koldara. And they're all over the place. I would recommend picking up two power power breeds and a power speed breed. Uh it's not that too hard because there's only three breeds. So picking up uh even finding a rare power power when there's just a few breeds is pretty easy. So that is the first pet on the list, and he is just definitely one of my favorites in the entire game. Now, the next two pets I'm going to mention in this area is the Oily Slimeling, and uh, he's kind of cool. I mean, he's just your typical magic type pet that's got really strong moves versus flying types. I mean, he's got an expunge that hits up to 642. It's not as hard as the Jade Oozling from the Hinterlands, but he's a solid pet, you know? And he's got basically the same moves as most of like these blob type pets. And he is found over here in these oil fields here. And then the last pet I want to talk about in this area is the Arctic Hare. Now, there are rabbit pets all over the world. And there's some in High Mountain, like there's some out. I mean, really hares are like in a bazillion different zones. And what you want is an SS breed. Now it's a lot easier to find, there's a couple pets you could even buy, like the brown rabbit that you can buy out in Netherstorm and get an SS breed easier than finding an SS breed out here, especially because this guy has one, two, three, four, five, six breed combos. So he's fantastic. He's one of the fastest pets in the game. I think the cheetah is faster than him and that's the only pet that is. Uh, he also has two dodge moves. He's got dodge and burrow. So he can go th what, four turns without being hit at all. And with flurry, uh, other than against flying types, and I don't think there's any flying types in the game that have decoy, uh, you'll, you'll have a, a decoy breaker for PvP. So this is Speedy Gonzalez. He's one of my favorite pets ever. And he can be picked up here in the Boring and Tundra. So that wraps up this first area. All right, we are now in the Solazar Basin, and there's an awesome pet here. There's actually three awesome pets here. So we have the Stunted Dire Horn. Now he's got the same model as these big Dire Horns up here, and he's really cool. Also, his Power Power breed is really inflated. Let's see, let me pull him up. Stunted Dire Horn, 357, okay? Most Power Power breeds top out at 341. So he hits very, very, very hard. Also, he has a, uh, does he have a priority move? I thought he did. No, none of these are priority moves, I guess. If the user is faster than the target, you have 50% chance to trample them and lose their turn. Okay, so he, I guess he doesn't have a priority move, but he's just a really strong hitting beast type attack, or a beast type, uh, and he can crush critters really effectively. So I'd recommend picking up a power power of these stunted dire hearts. Also, they just look cool. You know, if I'm on like a Torin Hunter, this is the companion pet that I've got summoned with my other pets just because I, I don't know, I like him. He's a little rhino. So yeah, he's cool. The other pets in this zone that I'm gonna briefly mention is the Unborn Valk. Now the Unborn Valk is actually in every zone in Northrend. Uh, they are rare spawns. They're significantly less rare than they used to be. You used to have to uh, like camp different spawn points. But especially if you've got the pet tracker uh, add-on, it makes finding them so much easier. Like the other day I was doing a, uh, a pet spotlight on the Unborn Falc and just flew up there and, yeah, caught a rare version right up there. So 
She's really fantastic in PvP, really overused. I mean, sometimes I get so tired of going up against her. She's totally countered, though, by the Emperor Crab. So, I don't know. I run the Emperor Crab on a lot of my PvP teams just to cancel out the Unborn Valk's Haunt ability. And that's what makes her so powerful. Is it's a giant dot that does a ton of damage and then counts a user as dead for four turns in the back row. And what's powerful about that is for... <sighs> Pardon me. For the longest time, it was just all about undead AoE. And so if you had a pet that can just pretend to be dead and take no damage in the back line, it was really strong. And it still is very strong, and people still use it very, very frequently. Like, I went up against a guy who had a team of three of these, and they were all named Original, original OP, and I kicked the crap out of him. But... It was still really annoying. So the last pet I want to talk about here is the Proto, not the Proto Jake Guelph, the Emerald Proto Whelp. Okay, this guy is a monster. He is definitely one of the strongest dragon types in the game. Uh, he's different than the um, Nexus Whelpling from the last zone, but he's just got a ton of healing. So the setup that I normally run is just all of his number two abilities, Emerald Bright, Emerald Bite, Emerald Presence, and Emerald Dream. And he can just almost negate most critter type damage with Emerald Presence, and it lasts for five rounds. It's a long buff. Emerald Dream is a massive heal, where if like you're under 50% health and you use that, you will end up at 100% health almost every single time. And Emerald Bite, which is just a really strong, hard hitting magic type move that this guy has. So really, he's just fantastic. Uh, I use him in a lot of PVE teams and I've seen people use him in PVP, but I don't like him quite so much there just because you run into a lot of teams that employ darkness. I mean, my favorite team in my PVP slot all three of the guys use Call Darkness. And on this team, I've gotten 235 wins and nine losses. So it's a fairly successful team. And that'll wrap up Sholazar Basin. All right, continuing our tour of the best pets in Northrend, we are now in Ice Crown. We are just south of the Argent Tournament, and we are looking at the Scourge Whelplings. Now, the Scourge Whelplings are a fantastic pet. They are a double counter to Dragon-type pets. <laughs> Being an undead, they take reduced damage from dragon type attacks, and they have humanoid attacks with Call Darkness and Dreadful Breath. So these guys are monsters. The HH breed has 1800 health, uh, a fair amount of attack power. 276 for a non attack power breed is really, really solid. And the Power Speed breed has 305 attack. So I use these guys whenever I go up against a bunch of dragon types, like if I'm doing PvP and I'm consistently seeing a lot of dragons, I'll switch into these guys and they will melt them. So out of all the pets here in Ice Crown, they're definitely ones that I would pick up. Let's see. Also, if you can snag the intent enchanted broom, he does cost 40 in champion seals, and I know it's a pain in the butt doing those quests and getting those seals, but it is a double counter to uh, aqua type pets with a flying type move and being a magic type they take reduced damage from aquatics so those are the pets that i would get i'm working on getting all the pets from the argent uh tournament i still have a few left one two three four five six six of them but you know i buy them off the black arch auction house like i picked up the elwin lamb today it cost me 10k but I would rather spend 10,000 gold than have to grind out those stupid quests, especially on an alliance character. Yuck. Just kidding. Alliance, you're great. I hope you have a great day. All right, we are now entering the Storm Peaks, which is a really cool zone. It's one of my favorites in the whole game. Like, the quest lines here are really cool. The music is awesome. You know, you got the Sons of Hodier out here, which are those giants. I mean, it's just a cool zone. And then it has Ulduar, which is one of my favorite raids. It was the first time I ever tried to DPS as a warrior, and I did terribly. Like, I think at the time I was item level like 219 or, uh, yeah, I think it was 219. So I was an all Nax heroic gear from the 25 man Nax runs, but I just was terrible. And it was at a time where Fury Warriors were really, really strong, but I just did not know how to play them. 
But back to the pets. The only pet in this zone that's really worth very much uh, that I haven't already mentioned before, like the Arctic Hare, is the Arctic Fox Kit. Now, one thing that's awesome is he only comes in one breed. So if you're looking for a pure breed or a uh, rare type, it's significantly easier to find one of the correct breed when there's only one. Now, he used to be much more popular running Howl and Dazzling Dance. Howl used to be the exact same uh, debuff as Shattered Defenses, where you'd increase the damage they take for two rounds, counting every attack. Now, Howl is just the first attack that hits them does that uh, does extra damage. So, for example, if you're used to Howl and then Flurry, only your first Flurry would actually do bonus damage. The rest of it would just be regular Flurries. So, I mean, he can be useful in, like, unique teams, but he's nothing incredible, nothing to write home about. So, I mean, you can pick him up if you want, but nothing fantastic out here in Storm Peaks. All right, our safari of Northrend has taken us to Zul'Drak. Um, it's a fantastic place. I like it. It's cool. They got some cool quests on here. Also, it has the Ring of Blood. Um, but as far as pets go, there's the Unborn Valk, which is in every zone, and then there's the Water Waverling, okay? And this is a cool-looking elemental-type pet. Uh, he's got mostly elemental-type moves, and then he has two, um, aquatic-type moves. Sorry, I was reading this guy. He's recruiting people and paying them money to do a PvP raid or something, and he's bragging that he has lots of gold because he can give out 4,000 gold whenever he wants. I used to have like 5 million gold. Now I have 350,000, which is not a ton, but yeah, I'd be okay not helping him. So, in Soul Drac, I'd pick up a Water Wave villain, go for the HS breed, because Balance Balance is garbage. But everything else. And you can also farm for the Gundrak Hatchling, who sells pretty heavily on the auction house. Um, I think that's because he's the same pet as is in there, but he's not special. He's not even good, but he's just expensive. So. It's up to you. All right, we are now in Dragonblight, uh, another zone that I really enjoy. Honestly, I just like all of Northrend, and I know a lot of people, uh, you know, there's a great debate whether Wrath was the best expansion or Vanilla or anything, and I don't know about Vanilla, but I enjoyed Wrath. It was a great expansion. It was probably when I was the best at the game. I raided, like, every single night. It was when I was a freshman in college, and, uh, yeah, it was a very, very long time ago, so. But the pets that I would pick up here are these Dragonbone Hatchlings, okay? They are found all around uh, Wormrest Temple here, and they are awesome. So what makes these guys so great is that they're really, really tanky. Like, the HH breed of this type of bird has 1,800 health. Now, there are not a lot of flying-type pets that have that much health. And the Power Power breed also has a pretty inflated attack power for birds. Like, not a lot of uh, birds have that high of attack power. There is one, I think it's the Eagle that's out in Grizzly Hills that's got more. Um, but it's fun. So. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting distracted by this guy down here who thinks he's like the greatest person in the world. Um. But yeah, pick up a Dragonbone Hatchling. It's the same as the Buzzard Hatchling out in the Red Ridge Mountains. Um, oh, hey, somebody's doing the time quest, I think. That's cool. Norse Dormu. He's a dragon who went crazy, and it's like breaking time. Or it's just like an event that's happening. I don't know. It looks cool. But yeah, pick up the Dragonbone Hatchling here. Uh, it's the best thing that's in this zone. All right, we are heading into Grizzly Hills, which has one of my favorite soundtracks in all of World of Warcraft. Like, I could listen to Grizzly Hills music forever, and it's just wonderful. So, the pet that's really strong out here is this Imperial Eagle Chick. And he has a power power breed that has 341 attack. And he's kind of squishy with 319 health, but that's a really lot of attack power for any flying type pet sorry i get into the habit of just closing those windows and you know he can be useful in a couple tamers in pandaria uh, especially with liftoff being a you know a dodge move being able to use adrenaline rush so that even when he's under 50 percent health he could uh 
still outspeed most pets. So, yeah, he's a solid pet. I would definitely grab him and then just hang around in the area and just listen to the cool, like, Nordic music for a while. So, that'll do it for uh, Grizzly Hills. Alrighty, Roo. We are heading over into the Howling Fjord, which is another area that's just got an awesome soundtrack. And it's got a bunch of cool pets in this area. So, right off the bat, I have to talk about it. It's the turkey. He's awesome because it's a turkey. And who does not want a turkey pet? Now, these turkeys can be found over near this Alliance place right here and a couple other places. I captured mine by this Alliance base and killed a bunch of people in the process. So it was good. It was a beautiful day. Alliance died. The Horde rejoiced. Um, the other pet in this zone that I would definitely recommend picking up is this fjord warg pup okay so he's got 325 attack which isn't stellar uh you know he's like in a lot of ways not actually that amazing but he's got the same move set as the fox uh with dazzling nats howl the whole deal but he's also cool and he's a wolf and there's not a lot of wolf companion pets so i would pick him up and then other than that, there's nothing really special here. So that concludes Northrend. If there was any pets you think that I should have included on this list, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, tell me your favorite pets, especially wild caught pets of this continent. And I hope you have a great day. If you found this video helpful, a like rating is always appreciated. And as always, it was a pleasure gaming with you.